Hey, what's up everybody? It's Optimus P517 coming back at you with another pickup. So, Saturday, July 21st, 2012. Um, of course, you guys all know what today was. The release of the Jordan 2012 Retro Olympic 7s. I didn't pick those up. Because um, I've been switching my game a little bit and basically um, changing a lot of things up. I'm actually going back to Strictly J's, getting out of the LeBron game and uh, going back to the older retro and doing a little more hunt. I think it's funner that way, but go into detail about that in a little bit. It is a Jordan face box, and these are the 2004 Olympic 7s. So, um, I was just poking around, looking around, and you know what, decided, because I, I saw what the Olympic 7 looked like, and you know, if, if if I can't get them for retail, which at times I still can, why am I going to pay reseller prices on the new stuff when I can get it for actually very close or cheaper um, on the older stuff? So uh, they're they're not dead stock, of course they're worn, and I've worn them myself already, so it doesn't matter at this point if they're they're out of dead stock condition or whatnot. But let me get on with the shoe. There they are. So very, very nice. Um, build quality is great. The leather feels great. Um, and now the the paint right here, it's a little more, I think, a little more dough. Um, but overall, it is a great shoe. Can't go wrong with it. Rocking today, very nice. And I picked these guys up on eBay for a pretty good deal. The pictures weren't the clearest, so the toe when I looked at them, they weren't in the condition that I thought they were, but when I wore them a few times, it's probably going to end up looking like that anyway, so I can't really complain. I didn't look too too in details with it. I was kind of shopping over the phone. So I think if I looked on the actual shoe on the website, on eBay instead, it would have been better. Um, the prices on them, I got them for a great price. Paid probably less than what they're going, going for resale at this point right now, So which is even nicer. So... Um, but what I was saying earlier is I'm going back to some of the older stuff that I really, 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 really want to look into. Um, some of the stuff that I couldn't get before but I want to get now. And some of the stuff might be used or brand new. So either way, I'm going to be putting my feet in it, walking around in it, whatnot. But the main thing with that is a lot of newer, newer kicks is the quality is just, you know, not there. But... If I can't get them for retail, I definitely would not want to pay resale on those. If I can pay about the same price or just a little bit more to get something from back in the day. So, um, these are holding up great. I'm going to knock on wood on that. And, you know, overall, very happy with it. So, um... Now that's the main thing with that, and then another thing, I'm, I'm going to get out of the LeBron game, so I've got a bunch of LeBrons I'm going to let go pretty shortly, they're all mostly size 12, the LeBron 9s, um, I'm only keeping I think one pair at this point, a lot of them, I, I just don't wear them, so, you know, I work five days out of the week, wear dress shoes, dress clothes, two days out of the week, is the only chance for me to wear something else than sneakers. So I don't really go out at night afterwards, you know, go to work, come home, work out, eat, take care of things, and that's it. So, um, got a few things, got some Katie's I gotta let go, got some LeBron's I gotta let go, and I got some, a couple other little things. So keep an eye out for that, and uh, you'll see the on sale video. Um, pricing, I'm just gonna ask for offers at this point. So, no hurry to sell, but just keep an eye out, like I said. Let me get on with the details on this guy up close so you can see what the shoe's all about up close on the box and then of course that little nice little postcard that it comes with from the older retros. So hang on tight. Alright gang. Jordan face box. Um, you know this is kind of a cool box. I, I really wish they would actually make it a more sturdier material, but there it is. You got the size 11, Jordan Retro 7. And you guys know back in the days it came with these nice little postcard type of deal. Talks a little bit about the shoe and then 
it uh, highlights the actual shoe in that series so very nice touch to it of course not something they do anymore and on with the shoe BAM so like I said I, I haven't felt the new ones but I've seen them and the leather is very very nice and soft on these it's very nice touch the paint it's kind of a duller touch to it so the bottom is, is pretty much the same as the new ones and uh, the colorway I, I did almost forget is white uh, I think it's metallic gold midnight navy and true red so there they are you got the jump man Jorn up front and then some of you know history with these were these were worn by Jordan in the Olympic Games so that's where the nine was because his number in the Olympics was nine so and then tag in there so sorry it's a little hard to see and the nice thing even though they're plastic it's the gold tips instead so the newer ones is just plastic dole tip Jumpman logo is kind of rubbed off, but on the other shoe, it's still got a nice chunk of it still there. But the nice thing, what I really love about the shoe is the booty system. This 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 piece right here. So that that's a very very nice touch to it. Um, the material is very comfortable. And for those that have the Easy's, these are pretty much the same. That's the same material, and I think that's where Kanye West got the inspiration on that. Um, I think I'm trying to trying to remember which uh, which series of the Jordan series started with this uh, booty system. I, I don't know if it's the seven. Um, I think. Well, it's hard to say because on the six on the inside kind of has that too but anyways just making a quick reference this this is very nice plush and soft so you can tell from there um, overall great shoe very comfortable true to size and fits very nice goes great with shorts goes great with jeans and there they are so what do you guys think um, I know a lot of you guys picked up the sevens today. The crazy part is, I think they're more lim they're they're more limited than the Olympic six that came out. So the ones that Ray Allen picked uh, wore, and there they are. So I'm gonna throw these on feet on a, with a pair of shorts. Just a quick shot of them, and then you guys got any questions? Let me know. Make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Keep an eye out. I do have a handful of other shoes I will be shooting pretty shortly. Um, just, you know, the tough part is when you have a slow computer, it doesn't help. So, hang on tight. Throw these guys on feet. Peace. Alright, gang, here's the 2004 Olympic 7 on feet. What do you guys think? Make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. If you guys got any questions, definitely hit me up. Other than that, peace out.